if a product isn't selling, right? If a product is not selling, you definitely should not be listing it over and over again. So I got down. I tried to hit you up. I hope you're doing good. Um, but yeah, like you should not be listing the same product that isn't getting views, but I wouldn't list a product that were the same product every day. Again, that's why we do have a vendor box, the 42. Because if I have 42 products, I have 42 days to list a new product every single day. The, the, the Excuse me. The number 42 isn't like out my butt. That's actually a number that we use when we do eBay automation. So like it's a theory, like the law of averages, right? The more you attempt to do something, the better, right? It's, it's the more you attempt to do something, the more you're going to be able to hit that target. So if you're somebody that is looking to sell something and you're looking to make money, I wouldn't say list the same product every day. I would say list the product, let the product sit for 48 hours, for a week, a certain time frame. And if that thing ain't getting the views and the sales you want, it's time to either get rid of the product or list the product on another site or another platform. So like that's the big, i give you an example. T-Mobile, right? I've owned two T-Mobile stores in my life, right? I didn't say worked, owned, okay? Partnership. Assets, equity, money, partnership. I, I, I've, I've owned. Okay. The two T Mobile stores, I don't have anymore because it cost me too much money. It wasn't making sense. Google Pixel. Okay. Got the Google Pixel. 30 minutes. Okay. The Google Pixel. Great example. So it was one time we had to get Google Pixels because there was a launch. And they said, well, you have to get the Google Pixel because people might come to your store, right? We're advertising this on TV and you have to make sure. Um, okay, I got you. You have to make sure that you are um, compliant. So I, I paid for this, the uh, Google Pixels. So the Google Pixels per phone was like 450 retailing. For, no, 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 I'm tripping. Like $799. I brought like 40 of them. Buy the Pixels and nobody pre-ordered. Nobody brought the phones um, like the first week. So um, I sat on the phones. I sat on all that money I invested. Long story short, like 50% of the Pixels was still there the next year. We didn't move them. And I was like, you know what? Because... You literally have to pay for these phones and you're getting paid off a of service. You get residual. Every time somebody pays their bill, you're getting money. So I had to drop that because I understood it wasn't working for me. And that's the same mentality you want to have when it comes to you listing products or you running a business in general. I hope that answers your question. Yes, always more. Yeah, exactly. Do a deep dive into your business. To be honest, I prioritize making money as quick as possible. So I guess you're right with the lazy thing. Absolutely. But you're not the only one. Like, don't get it twisted, bro. Like, it's not nothing wrong with it because we all have to learn. That's why I make videos, right? Because I try to show you, like, what I've learned from it, right? Like, I was that guy. I would rather make money fast because I want what I want right now. Prime example, guys. I'm the type of person um, because I was just talking to one of my friends. And Madden just came out. And Madden just came out. And you can get it early. It comes out on... It didn't come out. Excuse me. It comes out on Friday, but you can pre-order it. And it, you get it like, what, three days early or something like that, right? So me and my friend was talking. He's like, yeah, I'm about to pay. And I'm about to get the... um, I'm about to get the Madden. I was like, oh, cool, cool, cool. I'm going to get it too. I was like, how much is it? He was like, it's $100. I said, all right, cool. He's like, yeah, but I don't know if I should spend that $100 or should I wait? And in my mind, when he said that, I thought, yep, they got you. Why did they get you? Because it is two, no, three type of adapters. You got an early adapter, a mid adapter, and a late adapter. An early adapter is going to be a consumer that is going to adapt and they're going to buy off an impulse, right? Like that person is like, I want that phone right now. Like I need that iPhone 
16 right now. I pay a billion dollars if I have it just to get that shit right now. I need it. I want to be the first. Those are the people that are broke. I'm sorry. They're the people that are broke. You have early adapter entrepreneurs. The people that are like, okay, I want to make the money before anything. I want to make, I want to make it. I want the money to come to me. Right? Those are the entrepreneurs that never make it. Right? Because it's so hard to keep a business afloat. So it's like this, right? You're so hungry that you're overpriced your products so that you can make all of the money on the back end. That's an early adapter. Now let's go to a mid adapter. We're going to first talk about a mid adapter consumer. What is a consumer? If you guys don't know what a consumer is, a consumer is a customer. Think of it like that. Just a customer. Right? A mid adapter customer is going to be a customer that actually has to use some type of logic. They they want the thing, but they want to do the research. So if I want the iPhone 16 and I'm a mid adapter, I'm going to go to Apple. I'm going to look up, okay, what does this iPhone 16 do? Like, what's the new thing, right? And no matter what it does, I'm going to tie it into my life. <laughs> it can wipe my booty for a living. And I'll be like, okay, well, you know, I could wipe my booty myself, but I'll buy the 16 for it to do it for me. That's a mid adapter. Somebody that they want it, but they'll do research. But if it was somebody that was like, uh, I don't really go to the bathroom like that. Uh, mm, I wait. Like a mid adapter has to find some type of reason to buy it. It could be, it, it has to just be a reason, <laughs> literally a reason. A mid adapter entrepreneur is somebody that's like, all right, yeah, I want to make the bread. I want to sell reps, but you know what? I ain't going to buy the reps from Hustler because Hustler, his reps is, is $35, but I can go, hey, I can go right on um AliExpress and I can get them for $2. I mean, I know they don't look real. I mean, I know the box has plastic on it and wrinkles, and I know it doesn't really connect and stay connected, but I'll do it because it's $2. So a mid-adapter entrepreneur is somebody that will just buy something because it's cheap and they know, okay, well, I can potentially make money from it, but they won't buy something that may cost more because they're so dumb. They don't understand that quality equates profit. Prime example, we all have draws on, I hope. <laughs> and I try to get real personal with my examples because there's different ages that watch me. We all got underwear on. <laughs> but if you were responsible for buying your underwear and you saw, okay, I got three options. I got an option with cotton and it's, it's pretty good. The cotton, it's, it's a little dry. It's a little dry. I mean, it feel like I'm sitting in paper, <laughs> but it's about $2. Then I got the silk, which is, is smooth. It, it, it gives me a nice little feel, but it still ain't no air coming in there. Then I got another option. It's dry fit. It got a little breeze. It's silk. It's, it's, it's nice. The entrepreneur that is a mid adapter is going to say, okay, I know I can get the silk, but if I get the silk, it's going to cost me more. But I also don't want to get that itchy dry draws so let me just let me just get the ones that that are okay let me get the bare minimum let me get the okay ones because i don't care about my hygiene enough to invest in myself i just want to have draws <laughs> that's a entrepreneur that's a mid adapter they're not always buying off an of impulse they're buying off of logic that it only benefits them if you're an entrepreneur that wants to succeed you have to in your head have some type of care about the clientele <laughs> Because the clientele is what keeps your business going. Y'all ever have a job where they're like, yo, customer service and customers are always right? Yes, there is a, a, a part of where customers are always right. But nine times out of 10, the customer is wrong. That's the truth. The customer is wrong because the customer is only operating out of their own logic. 
but you have to make them feel like they're right because guess what? You need them. Okay. So then you have a late adapter. I'm still trying to get to that point in my life where I'm a late adapter. A late adapter, we'll talk about the consumer first, is a person that will wait to get the iPhone 16. They'll take an iPhone 14, 13, 12, an iPhone 7. Because they will not buy something if they don't see the value. They operate fully just on logic. Now, what is the negative? The negative is that they don't usually experience the, the dopamine, the, the rush, the feeling of having something. They don't always get that, right? Because they usually wait. And they're usually frowned upon. They're usually looked at like, oh, you got an iPhone 7. You a nut, right? But let me tell you something. They usually end up the most profitable. Because they get the deals when the deals are relevant and when the deals are best. As a late adapter entrepreneur, it's the person that says, okay, I'll get the expensive AirPods. And I know I can't get that many of them, but I'll get some. And I will make a $50 profit instead of charging somebody $150 or $60. I'll charge somebody like $90, $80. And I'll reinvest my money and keep doing it until I see a huge profit, until I build my rating up. See, understand that these early, mid, and late adapters, where have you heard that from? Like, let me ask y'all something. Let me ask y'all something. Let me get real. Like, where have y'all heard that from? Have any of you guys heard that from another YouTuber? Have any of you guys heard that from somebody that's an entrepreneur and lives a love lavish life and has a you know a mansion and and, and, and a thumbnail full of blue hundreds and, and living life, right? Have you heard that? No, right? Let me tell you why. Because when you get into these circles with these entrepreneurs, I'm gonna tell you what a lot of them tell me. I got an entrepreneur friend. He, he's he's really good at what he does. I'm not gonna say what he does because I don't I don't want to shout my guy. Uh, you know what I mean? I don't want I don't want nothing to come back on him and people to know that he thinks like this. But he thinks like this because he is is he's obligated to think like this because he has his own brain. You want to know? What he said to me, I said, "Yo, bro, I want to bring you on my YouTube and I want you to share what you do to my subscribers." I was like, "Yo, because you really, I mean, you're killing it, bro. You like one of the best at what you do. I like how you operate. I like what you do. I like the way you move. I know that you're profitable. I really want to have you on." Right. So I'm telling him, yo, I want to have you on. He texts me back and he says, hey, um, like, bro, like I tell you and, you know, what we will talk and everything. But I don't want to tell people how I make money for free. I said, all right, I'll pay you, bro. Like, I ain't nothing, bro. That's all you got to ask. You feel me? I'll pay you for your time. He's like, no, 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 no. It's not that. He's like, I just don't want to tell people how i make money for free i said no i'm gonna pay you I i'll pay you to come on my youtube and we'll just make a little little podcast video he's like nah bro i'm I'm cool bro like i'm good like i don't i don't, I don't even be uh like he just wasn't cool right so i had to think about it i'm like well why didn't he want to come on and tell people how he made money doing this one thing and he was like so adamant about not giving away for free, even though I was going to pay him because it wasn't about the money I was going to pay him. It was about if I teach you, I have competition. I saturate the market. So what you'll realize is a lot of people on YouTube, a lot of entrepreneurs in life, whether you're watching this right now or years later, right? You're still going to realize that you're going to have entrepreneurs that don't want you to succeed more than them. So they don't share the mindset that you have to have. They only share the results that they got, or they only share the process they did, but they don't tell you the mindset that they had. Don't let that go over your head. 
Because like the people right now watching and you like, yo, what the? How am I? I'm watching a video and I'm doing exactly what it says and I'm not getting this and I'm not getting that. You want to know why? <laughs> it's not because you're not doing it right. It's because you don't have that mindset. You don't have that knowledge. Right. That's why you want to surround yourself around people. Right. That are living this life. Because you start to live through them. You start to. Oh, OK. Yo. Hey, Brandon. Um, I would like to book a call. Can I book a call? So like this is how you book a call. Right. So. All right. You can go ahead. You can book a call. Right. So like, Oh, yeah. I want to book a call. Right. Show all sessions. Um, but Brandon, I wanted to book a call, but I wanted to book a call at 6 p.m., but it doesn't have a 6 p.m. um option. Yeah, because I don't take calls past 6 p.m. But 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 why? Because at 6 p.m. I'm doing inventory at my store. 6 p.m. I'm going to factories to sit there and try to get more products. 6 p.m. I'm doing an eBay automation class. 6 p.m. I'm doing a well, 7 p.m. I'm doing a phone flipping academy class. So I don't have time. What, what, what could you learn from that, right? What could you learn from that? You could learn, okay, this guy has a system in the place. Why don't you take phone calls before 11 a.m.? Oh, because when I wake up, I make sure I do my workout. I make sure I eat. I make sure that I watch whatever I want to watch so I can get my mind mentally um, ready. I make sure that I do my own routine. I make sure that like, I do certain things certain ways so I can get certain results. But you can't learn that from a video. You can't learn that from somebody that just won't tell you. Because some people don't tell you. They don't tell you. They show you. So like, I give these examples because I know that people that watch me, well, I would hope people that watch me aren't in a broke mindset. Right. I would I would hope that people that watch me are they have an open mindset. I, I'm not I'm not asking for people that watch me to be perfect. I'm not asking for people to watch me to be hustlers and be all it. Now I I hope that you are ready to learn. You know what I mean? Ready to learn. Because it this this is a journey. 